Jojo in the morning, family, I hope you're ready for this Friday. We're going to end the week strong. I'm talking real strong on Creative Week, okay? I want to let you know sometimes your greatest abilities are hidden behind your biggest disabilities and fears. When I was young, used to have a, a slight stutter, had a slur to my voice, had a problem reading, um, Eventually, I got glasses, and that fixed some of the problem. But the main thing that changed my life is when I had an encounter with Jesus Christ, and everything came full circle to what I knew I was called to do. I remember when I was young, we were in a church service, a Baptist church when I was young, and I sat on the back row because that's where Baptist you know, youth sit. And I remember the Holy Spirit spoke to me. I didn't even know what the Holy Spirit was. I didn't know He spoke. And... Holy Spirit said, you're going to be a preacher like, like, like Brother Ken. And I remember I told my guy on my left, I said, hey, man, I'm going to be a you know, preacher like Brother Ken. And uh, you know, I think he said something like, man, you, 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 don't, you don't like getting in front of people. You don't even own a tie. You, know, you can't be a preacher. I told my other friends, hey, man, I'm going to be a preacher like Brother Ken. He said, man, you don't take anything serious. There ain't no way you can do it. And, uh, and so I started thinking about all the reasons I couldn't about, uh, you know, I, I could, when I looked at words on a page, they just didn't make sense to me. Um, I had a, a slight problem with, with seeing and, and, you know, different things. And it's kind of a little slur to my voice some. And, you know, and so I didn't like public speaking. And then when all that broke, I could see perfectly. No stutter, no slur. Love getting in front of people. Everything shifted. Sometimes your creativity is hidden behind your biggest fears. I can't tell you how many people, and I'm one of them, that have had dreams of, you know, walking in, in, in wealth, sowing massive amounts of money into nonprofits and charities and um, orphanages, helping widows, third world countries, supporting local missions, but at a time you were in extreme poverty. It was a mindset shift that God wanted to work in you to create who he called you to be. I haven't fully arrived at where I'm going. I'm always working on myself to get to where I need to get to. That's why I love our, our mentoring program. We jump in and we help people grow into who God has called them to be. Two scriptures today. First one, Romans 12, 6. Having gifts that differ accordingly to the grace given to us, let us use them. If we prophesy in portion, proportion to our faith. Okay, first part of that's what I want to really hone in on. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. I have gifts. I have a unique gift mix God has given me. You have a unique gift mix. You and I may be similar, and then we may have some things that are different. That's why my wife and I are, are such a, a strong power couple. You ever seen the, the, the two circle, um, and, and then like in, let's say that like 20 or 30% of the two circles overlaps. That's how my wife and I, like my wife as is, is administrative, and I, like she designed our whole house. When we got ready to build our house, she gave the builder a book about this thick. Every room was already decorated. She had every thing planned out. That's not me. Um, my wife and I are different in the way that we think on a lot of stuff, but we got about 30% of, of the way we do like a lot. Like, like when we get in a service, a church service together, flowing together, identical. Um, just the way that you know we, we flow and, and we preach and teach. When we do videos together, perfect combination. You know, I, I'm an apostle. She's more in the prophetic, rural administrative. I get these creative uh, just ideas and she can administrate them down, you know, power couple. But we understand where the other one is gifted, okay? That's what this is saying. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Don't be jealous because your friend is good at one thing. You ever been to a church that has a phenomenal worship leader and a phenomenal preacher? 
Thank God you got those two gifts. Then you got somebody who's anointed for finances to do offering. You, you got somebody who prophesies. They prophesy the word of the Lord. You have different people. Then you got administrators and gifts of help that, that run everything. Understand, you know, you ever go to a big business, you got someone who's the accountant, someone who's over the graphics, someone who's over the marketing, someone who's over the sales. Everybody has a different gift, okay? Never be jealous of somebody else's gift. And it says, you know, let us use the gift that we have. A lot of people are not tapping into the gift God has given them. Therefore, they're not tapping into their creativity. Like, I, I knew I was in a good place in life when three years ago. Somebody said, Joe, can I ask you a few questions? I said, sure, man, what's up? If you could do anything in the world with your life and what you do for a living, if you could do anything in the world, what would you want to do? Exactly what I'm doing. And he said, no, 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 no. Everybody's got dreams. If you could do anything, what would you want to do? I'm like, no, I'm doing exactly what I want to do because I asked myself that 20 years ago and I have been creative enough with the Lord to step into it. Now, he asked me that three years ago and then about, oh, I'd say 16, 17 months ago, God told us to start the mentoring. We did it. Every time God tells us to do something, we use our gift mix to do it. Uh, we use our gifts, talents, and abilities, my wife and I together, prophetic, apostolic, about 30% overlapping. We've, we see, we, we come together, we launch it, we get it going, we build it. Then we hire somebody to take over the, the main part of the administration. Then we go to the next thing, but we do our part in it, okay? Use your gifting. Be creative in your gifting and understand where you're fearful. A lot of times that fear is a wall that is holding you back from your greatest breakthrough. Y'all better come on up in here today. Next scripture, 1 Timothy 4.14, do not neglect the gift that you have. Do not neglect the gift that you have. Let's just stop right there. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. Your gift will make room for you when you walk in character and integrity and you're full of the Spirit. Your gift will make a living for you. Your gift will move you forward in business. Your gift will move you forward in ministry. Your gift will make a way. That's what your gift is for, to make a way. When you give somebody a natural gift, that gift is supposed to make their life better. To bless them. God gave you a gift to bless you, to move you forward in what you're supposed to do. Tracking with me? Are you tracking with me? Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given which was given to you by prophecy when the council of elders laid, laid their hands upon you and prayed for you. Now, when someone prophesies to you, that prophecy is supposed to be confirmation for what the Lord has already told you. I remember one day, about five years ago, I was in prayer and the Lord said, right now, you're reaching about a thousand people a month in ministry, online ministry. It's going to go from a thousand to ten thousand to a hundred thousand to a million people. I'm probably like, now let me, let me go back. I'm going to probably say seven, it's probably about seven, more like seven years ago. And I was like, okay, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. Okay. I was preaching at a youth camp, and when it was over, the guy, when my session was over that I preached, the guy over the camp said, Joe, I got a prophetic word for you. And the Lord says, right now you're reaching about a thousand people. I wasn't on YouTube yet, I wasn't doing that. Um, I was really, I wasn't even doing social media much, I was just traveling. And he said, right now the Lord says you're reaching a thousand people a month. 
But next year, you'll be reaching 10,000 people a month. Year after that, 100,000 people a month. And the year after that, a million people a month. And I was like, wow, God just told me that, that if I keep using my gifts, talents, and abilities and move forward, we will advance the kingdom of God together. I can do the kingdom work. So Romans 12, 6, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to you, my gift was read, study, fast, pray, get a word, release the word. 1 Timothy 4.10, do not neglect the gift that you have. I can't neglect, fast, pray, read the word, study. I cannot neglect the gift. Remember I, I said first this video, when I was younger, I had a problem speaking. I would get tongue-tied when I was little. Um, I, I just When I would read, it's like I would look at a piece of paper and I could not see the words. It was blurred. It was, you know, I needed glasses, I guess. And some people that I was dyslexic, but I didn't listen to them. You know, it, it, all that. I'm great now when I answered the call. Sometimes the enemy will bring counterfeit things against you to make you know, to try to make you know that you can't do what you're really called to do. He knows what you're called to do. He knows your gifts, talents, and abilities. Do not neglect the gift that was in you. Don't neglect when people lay hands and pray and prophesy over you. I've had so many key men, women of God pray for me, lay hands on my wife and I and just prophesy the word of the Lord. Men and women of God, generals in the faith, peer ministers, and they always confirm what God has called me to do. That's why you get around the right people to speak life over you. Uh, recently, I was on a, someone called me for, for breakthrough prayer, and we started praying, one of our ministry partners. And when we were praying, and I got in about a three-minute prophetic flow speaking over them. And then all of a sudden, I just heard them laughing and, and hey, do whatever. And I said, what's going on? And they're like, you confirmed exactly what God told us two days ago. Two days ago, verbatim, word for word, what God told us, you just told us. It was the, you know, the words given to you by prophetic counsel, people praying over you. Don't neglect the gift that's within you, but move forward and advance the kingdom of God in this day and in this hour. This is the time. This is the season. When you get, a, get away with the Lord and you pray, the creative flow of the Holy Spirit will start to minister to you according to your calling and your gifts. And then you will start to flow with the power of God and you will do everything that he's called you to do. And I want you to know there's no devil in hell and no person that can stop you from doing what God has called you to do. Love y'all.